This is part 2 of the prototype creation videos, focusing on the physical side of things. If you want to see how I go about designing and creating the 3D models for the print, check out part 1 of this video series. Here you can see a time-lapse video of the printing process. I use a form-lapse Form 3, which is an SLA or stereo lithography resin printer, printing the model layer by layer. You can imagine this by slicing your model into thin sheets and every layer of your print, one more of these sheets is hardened by UV laser, adding up to a fully three-dimensional model in the end. For this print, each layer has a thickness of 50 microns or 0.05 mm. After the print is done, the parts have to be cleaned. At this stage, the surface of my parts is still covered in liquid resin, which has a similar viscosity to honey, that means it's sticky. So always remember to wear gloves when handling printer resin. To remove this liquid goo, the prints have to be submerged in an alcohol bath, which dissolves the liquid resin. Formlabs recommends a 90% IPA, that's isopropyl alcohol, but I figured out it also works well with 80% IPA, which is much easier to acquire and has less aggressive fumes. It just takes a few minutes longer before all the liquid resin is resolved. I usually let it sit in each container for about 30 to 45 minutes. Always remember to wear protection. After the bath, I use my airbrush to quickly evaporate most of the alcohol. This is not really necessary since the alcohol residue will evaporate by itself over time. However, that way I can instantly see if there are still resin leftovers indicated by a reflective surface and if more bath time is required. When everything is sufficiently cleaned, I let the parts sit for another 24 hours at room light and temperature before I remove the support structures and continue with the surface finishing. The reason to wait is that the printed resin is still very soft on the surface after it comes out of the bath. It takes several hours until all of the IPA has evaporated and the surface hardens. If I would finish the parts right after the bath and assemble them while the surface is still soft, tiny layers would rub off from the friction of the joints and would destroy the surface ultimately resulting in loose joints when the parts further cure and harden. Now that the prints have completely dried, I can start to remove the support structures and clean up the contact spots on the surfaces. If you have support structures in areas with detail or on prominent spots of your print, you can sand off the contact spots for a clean surface finish. However, in my case, it is most of the time completely sufficient to just take a hobby knife and cut off the support structure residue, since most of my supports are on the underside of the parts where they can't be seen. That way, I save a lot of time in the process. After everything is nice and clean, I can start with airbrushing. I use water-based acrylics because they produce hardly any fumes and are much safer to use. 
For the most parts, I use a light grey primer to start. For the grey resin parts which make up the frame of the mechs, I usually spray them directly with a gunmetal airbrush color, since they don't necessarily need a primer coat. The white resin I use for the upper body and armor parts of the mech, however, are much more translucent, so a base grey or any other color primer is necessary if you want to have opaque parts. If you want to go for a slightly translucent colored plastic look, you can skip the primer. You can see how the detail on the white resin parts instantly pops out the moment they are primed. By the way, the reason I use both grey and white resin is a purely preferential one, just so I have a color difference between the frame and armor parts before I apply any paint. After letting the prime parts dry overnight, I can continue with different colors the next day. After another day of letting the colors dry, the prototype can be assembled. And here we have the final prototype mech toy, fully posable and functional.
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or comment and subscribe to my channel. Also, the Kickstarter campaign is launching today, so please click on the link in the video description if you want to back the campaign. Thank you for watching.